Melinda Nguyen from Maryland, USA, or Coach Mimi. Today we're going to talk about your hand placements for how to catch a football. So typically the rule is if the ball is above your waist, you're going to do a diamond, just like this. Pointy finger and thumbs together, your other fingers spread apart so that you have a big target, a big basket. If the ball is below your waist, typically your pinkies come together and you're creating a W basket this way. Again, your other fingers are spread apart so that you have a bigger basket. Not flat hands like this. You don't want to palm the ball. You want to do a little bit of a curve, but try to spread out your fingers as much as possible. All right, so now what Nina's going to do is if the ball is above her waist, she's going to do the diamond catch, stare at it for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then tuck. The reason why she's staring at it is because we don't want to lose eye contact on that ball. A lot of people see the ball coming and they get scared, they close their eyes, or it's instinctual to close their eyes. We want to force ourselves to stare at the ball and continuously make eye contact with it. And this drill helps to emphasize the stare, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then tuck. And as she's tucking, the ball is following. Her eyes are following the ball the whole time. Catch, stare, and her eyes follow the ball. Perfect. All right, so Nina's gonna do the same thing now with the lower catches, the balls that are below her waist. She's gonna do pinky to pinky, the W, or the basket. And again, she can adjust side to side to wherever the ball goes. Catch, stare, and tuck. So hopefully this drill helps you and your team, especially the receivers and quarterbacks, to throw more accurately and to catch with precision. Make sure to keep your eyes on the ball the whole time, really focus on catching the ball and then following it through with a tuck. All right, good luck and play safe.